thank you all for tuning in. We love you guys so much. Um, we are Sisters of Leisure, and my name is Tracy, and we are living every day and seeking and understanding real events. We appreciate each and every one of you, but before we really get started, I want to thank our sponsor. Our sponsor is Soul Nails, and she is on Instagram. Her name is Kelly James, and she customizes nails. I don't know if you can see them. And it comes with glue. It comes with a, a cute little thank you card um, with her information on here. Also comes with nail remover, uh, emery board. I mean, we just really, really appreciate her work. She is awesome. She is just now getting started and she is going to be so amazing in her business and, and her craft. So we do appreciate that. Yeah. Um, our goal, if you don't know, is to bring awareness. That is our goal. We love to bring awareness. We love um, sharing with other people their amazing stories. And we also love, absolutely love networking with entrepreneurs all over. So I'm gonna let my sis take it away. Go ahead, sis. Okay, so um, I'm the little sister of Sisters of Leisure and I am excited today because not only am, are we about to join, who's joining our um, conversation is Talena. She is um, beautiful, bright uh, student. She is an entrepreneur. And I'm just excited to welcome Talena. So Talena, how are you doing? Are you nervous? Hi, I'm slightly. Yeah, me too, because we go crazy the last couple of minutes before we come on here. But anyway, so, and I say that all the time, but anyway, so Talena, well, your mom said we were going back for who's going to start first. So I guess it's going to be Tracy because she's mm -hmm. your mom, but go ahead. Let's, let's, let's get this conversation started because I'm excited. Well, I just want to know what made you start your chosen business, your bath and body business? Yeah. Um, so I am a scholar and... I, well, first, sorry. Um, first, I have a sister. I had a sister um, who had cancer and she was starting her holistic journey. And that sparked her making chosen, but she passed away and it was just left for someone to take. And since I am a scholar, I, um, want to be a dermatologist in the future, I found interest in making soap and skincare products because that's eventually what I want to do and work in that field. Um, so I started it or relaunched it in at the beginning of quarantine, slightly at the end of last year, beginning of quarantine, I really focused on it. Um, and I'm here now, like, I'm just ready to grow the company and just see what, what's in store for Chosen. That is wonderful. Yeah. You know, like, I, you talked about Nikki, because, you know, like, she is with us. She's right here with us right now. So you decided to take her, her idea that she, you know, it, it's, it was like a gift, almost, mm -hmm. you know, sure. this gift. And she um, was able to, yeah, a blessing to you. And you're able to take it and take it to another level. So about that, did are, are these your formulas? Like, what is it? Yeah, so I honestly just do the research and figure out what oils work best for certain things and um, uh, what products I should use and how, what what products are natural, have no chemicals in it. Um, and then I just make up a recipe. I mean, there's like recipe calculators. So eventually they kind of do the math. I mean, they do the math. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of putting it together and doing my end on it and uh, perfecting it and putting my art on it because I used to play a musical instrument um, and okay. I had a craft, but 
I haven't put this craft into anything else. It's just kind of, you've done all that art and what do you do now? Like, what what are you about to put that into? So um, I'm putting into making soap and different cool types of designs and just, it's going to be um, a lot coming. Okay, that is cool. That is, but you know, I'm not trying to get all mushy, you know, but how did you overcome the loss of Nikki? What did you do to overcome that to get to become the strong person that you are right now? Um, a lot of self work, um, a, a lot of disconnecting from society too, because it's all in reverse. So it's, they're not going to tell you what you really need to know. And um, I was looking for society to try to help me internally, mm. which I should have just like, I mean, I, I, I know now to just disconnect and um, to understand myself and my flaws and my greatnesses, you know, mm. because everyone's awesome, but everyone, you know, and go through something and it, it affects them and they don't know how to move on um, mm -hmm. from it. And so I just had to not necessarily move on from my sister's death, not at all, but like I had to, you know, get that strength and like move forward and was like, okay, well, I'm going to do this, this and that for me, but not only for me, for you and my future family, my future. And yes. Family. Um, that is so important like that, that self-care is important like you disconnecting because you know they always say once the funeral is over everybody's gone anyway you know what I mean so where do you go from there so I I understand you and I applaud you for um taking care of yourself throughout this um difficult time yeah because you sent me I'm sorry Tracy but you no, sent please. me a uh uh something to listen to today Mm -hmm. to Lena. and when I listen to it I'm going to use this quote and I'm not too sure if this is from directly from this young lady um Sinetta, so how you say it so Shanika Adams Shan Shanika Adams she said self-love is the foundation of the loving practice if you don't love yourself honestly you like. literally survive. Like if you can't focus on what you need to do in your life and what path you need to take for your success, nothing matters. Like that material doesn't matter. That Gucci shoes that you just got literally does not matter because at the end of the day, you're going to have to answer for your choices and your actions you made on this planet Earth. Like no one else, not your sister, not your brother, not cousin not your friend Tommy like nobody is just gonna be you and so for you you gotta love yourself for you to get to that self-actualization and like take to go on this journey with more ease and not like oh I don't, oh my yeah. god I gotta the, the president or like da, da, da. it's like <laughs> get over it. it matters truly yeah. like yeah. Work on yourself, figure out what you need to do for your family, for your legacy, for whatever you want, and do that. It's that, yeah. it's that simple, but also so hard for a lot of people because as traumas and stuff like that, and no one knows how to heal. So that's looking into your light and dark and just understanding like it's okay, the bump in the road, or it, that really affected me that affected my life but that doesn't determine where I'm going to go you can always fix the outcome but you can't fix the past like that stuff already passed once again you figured it, it happened it happened it is what it is and uh slang terms or whatever but like you just gotta keep going and, and I'm definitely gonna keep going with chosen and like my um schooling and just everything that I want because I want it for myself so. okay girl. I th I know, right I'm so I'm proud of you oh, gosh I'm so happy to be your mom thank you Jesus okay <laughs> <laughs> you know what? um so what are you taking in school and how are you able to you know 
go into the lab and make all these soaps and you know these creations um right now my major is interdisciplinary studies with a concentration in biomedical sciences and enterprises which means that i can get the medical side of things and going to um, chemistry i'm going to physics you know all of them great wonderful classes and i can still go to med school if i wanted to um but I also get that entrepreneurial side so I can get that marketing. I, I will be able to network with people um, and such. I, I just started, I just switched over my major. So I really don't know what's in store, but what? all the classes seem. You switched your major. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Right. <laughs> all the classes seem very inter interesting and something that I'm wanting to learn you know it's not something that I'm like uh I'm gonna take this but yeah okay um, I don't know what the other question was so you so you in school so you know you 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 grew up with a lot of different people you know high school junior high school and everything so do you feel that you know you still have that same closeness with the, your friends or do you feel like you're on a journey alone and you're okay with where you're going or do you try to pull people you know along with you throughout your life i've recently discovered this thing of surrendering it's like if you just surrender to whatever's going on that is it, it can change you like crazy um like, what do you mean though? Telling, uh, telling like we mean surrendering what? Surrendering is something that you can't fix. You can't you can't change people, and they're they're on their own journey on their own level. So like, if you guys were at the beginning, at the start, you know, y'all connected, y'all was on the same level, you understood each other. But people outgrow people. People move on to a different, higher level of thinking. Um, people get into situations that force them to do that too. Um, so it's not that person's fault that they can't figure it out, figure what they need to figure out, but, um, but who does though? I mean, I don't know too many people that I went to high school with that I'm friends with right now. So that's a process. Like, I mean, for sure, seriously, you know, yeah, that's, that's just, that's, that's the thing. I'm also understanding that like, who said I was going to be best friends with so-and-so? Like, who says yeah. that's yeah. going to, like, um, I have, I'm trying to understand how to change and adapt to situations yeah. and not, you know, be stagnant into, in friendships and stuff like that because at any moment, like, people can, so, something can spark in someone that can change their life completely and it honestly doesn't matter to anyone who knows that person. And um, it's just crazy how like that person needs to like, uh, I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to explain, guys. Well, that's but, okay. Like, don't worry about it. We gonna, <laughs> you know, just, just it, it is, uh, don't, don't, don't even worry about it because with anything, there's growth. And as you grow as a person, you know, like you can't, ex you, you, everyone has their time and it's, um, let me see. Um, it's it, it, your what Christina always says. Your journey isn't my journey. My journey is your journey. So exactly. our two people's journeys are different. That's just exactly. it is what it is, how it is, and it's all good. But so like you know, and I want this. To, I, I enjoy the conversation because Telena, you know, you have definitely opened my eyes to a lot of new things, and so you ain't open my eyes. Huh? Um, you open my eyes to new things. Uh, well, <laughs> yes, she is. So don't don't even front. But like, I want to talk about um, God's presence in your life. Like, so how do you? How are you assured of that? How do you know God's presence in your life? It's like. 
signs, obviously he gives you so many signs and like people are so like caught up in other things that they don't even realize that was the sign. And as I'm in uh, looking back on things that my signs that I just completely ignored, it's like, wow, he was telling me to do something else that I was doing something completely different and it's just um it's crazy when you then take that sign and do something about it stuff just like goes back into like alignment um not necessarily goes back into or it's just like things start working out for you because you are working on yourself you are you believe in him you understand what's what's your purpose like you're understanding this material means nothing this it's what's in here that means a lot like this skin this flesh it doesn't mean anything it's literally what's up in there and up in here and what you're thinking about what you're projecting onto people because this is just a reflection of we're all reflection of each other so like if you can't get with that then you you're gonna be falling real behind for sure and he's definitely sh- shown me like all right get with it or you're gonna continue to fall behind you're gonna continue to do that cycle over and over and over again and you're gonna learn one day but just know this path <laughs> is still there for you. like Oh, I mean, <laughs> but see, I you know you. what? Go ahead, Shell. No, uh, go ahead, Trace. Go. Okay, okay. I, I feel you, um, Talina. You know, doing the same thing over and over and getting the same results. I mean, I've heard that statement a million thousand times, mm-hmm. but I never really totally tapped into right. it and figured it out until I figured it. I had to just figure it out for real, seriously. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do the same thing because I get the same result. So take take on new challenges, take on different things because trust and believe. When I say God will never leave you nor forsake you, he won't. He, he won't. never does. He People won't. do. People like, do. People do. People do. But God doesn't. And yeah. that is the beauty of that, it all. Exactly. Don't rely on these outside sources for your happiness. Like, yeah. You... I mean, are you are God? You are Him. So like, don't be like, just don't look on, You don't have to look outside. You don't yes. have to look outside for God. Even celebrities, words. you don't have to look at them because once again, your journey, their journey <laughs> was is your journey. Or I don't know, saying but still like they are. They got there in a whole different way that you're going to get there if you want to get there. You don't have to if you don't want to. You don't have to be that. You can be whatever. You can be whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's important. It's important. And you know that and it's like it's it's a hot time. And you know what? I sometimes I'm like, well, you just late on the on the scene when it comes to this because I know that this is the process of being a human being, but I'm just now that I'm just now able to understand so many things that have been said to me in the past. I'm like, oh, so that's what that meant. And I'm 46. Like Really, Michelle? It took you that long to catch on. It's okay. So it's, okay. it's all right. Long as you caught on. Yeah, as long as you grasp it now. now and don't on. don't go backwards because yeah. what what's the point of you already know the knowledge, you know it. Like you know what's going on. So don't backtrack, you know? Yeah. So you yeah. know now. Yeah. So, so what, go ahead. Go ahead, Shell. No, no. Go ahead, little sis. Go ahead, little sis. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were able to balance. You're, you're able to balance school. You're able to balance work. You're able to balance it all. So, you know, of course, you know. I mean, we we. I said I well, we weren't going to bring up. You know, are you single or not? You know, but I mean, but you're a beautiful young lady. You're smart. You know, like I mean, you're young. You're hit you know, and you have a spiritual mind, that's a huge thing. So like, what are you seeing within, you know, 
your dating life? What what does that look like for a 21 year old that's so bright? Sh should I leave the room? <laughs> uh, no, no. They just honestly have to be willing to expand their mind. Like, don't. I, I, I'm such a person that's just like I'm down for whatever. So I'm down to learn. I'm down to you know, let's go skydive. We want to. Let's be adventurous. Don't be like so rigid with your your mind of thinking. And I, I felt like I've dealt with people that was just like, what? You, like, is that all? Is, is that all you can give me like you know and it's just like kind of it sucks because they're a good person but I need more for myself I need adventure I need to uh you know just be able to be myself and not feel as if it's weird or you yeah. know strains of controlling yeah. someone trying to control who you are yeah. they're not guys they can't control who you are. Only mm -hmm. God has the power to do that. So I commend you being such a wise young lady. Thank you, Jesus. I hope I have grandkids one day, but you know, I'm just glad you're on the right path. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, so what, what are your goals? I mean, what are your future goals? What, what do you have planned for the next year? For next year? more upcoming products like I said so stay tuned more perfecting my craft on my end more research more knowledge um but besides that like I don't like I don't know what the future it's so like it's so much you can do um I definitely want to continue my school journey so like that takes out that takes a lot of my time, um, but more adventures, more traveling to see the world. I know with COVID, yes, but more understanding who I am. Um, so how has COVID, like what have you, have COVID had? COVID was a blessing. Okay. I love, like the point is I can we're going somewhere Period. weird stuff it's, it's just like this I needed this I think the whole world needed this like we've been go 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 I literally was and now that I think about it I wasn't even doing anything too important where I couldn't do the things that I'm doing now you know like yeah. I could have definitely still been working on children I could have been definitely whatever whatever but I was so focused on whatever um that I lost sight of what I really want and what I want, wanted to do in my life. Um, yeah, COVID, it, it was amazing. It also got me close to my family and talking about things that has never been talked about, you know, and um, just seeing like that people are, I don't know you you got to rely in your obviously yourself but like keep a tribe keep those people those people, mm -hmm. close people with you and things can move forward for you and it'll be easier for it to move forward and not having like this group this group this group I'm hanging out with so and so so and so and so and so that it's not wrong to have friends that's not what I'm saying at all I'm yeah. saying the amount of everyone seeking each other's approval was on overload and I was like oh god I, I'm literally I don't care I, I really don't like I just I'm trying to chill at home with my family do my thing you see it, you see it if I invite you you're invited like you no know, it's not that deep it really isn't but people don't grasp that like mm. And I feel you, that, that was a deep, what you said about, you know, we moving so fast and trying to seek everybody's approval. And why, why you, why you want to do that? Seek <laughs> your own it out exactly. What do you well, see when you look in the mirror every day? Are you pleased? Are you happy with what you see? 
be happy well, with that. Well, you know, I was, um, Telena told me one day we were, I was, I don't know what I was doing. I was talking to her FaceTime and the news was in the background. She's like, ah, Michelle, turn that off. It doesn't serve you at all. It's just making everybody going crazy. And that day I turned it off. And I want to say that God's voice, it became louder to me because I was able to turn off the, the distraction mm-hmm. that was just, yes. you know, tw- I would wake up in the morning watching the news. I would get home from work. I couldn't even wait. It would be sometimes where I was like sneaking at, at work, you know, watching the news. But anyway, but I, I, I have to say when I turned it off, it got clear to me mm-hmm. and um, it's just been beautiful ever since. I'm just blessed that you said that to me. Mm-hmm. So when did you turn your TV off today? How long has it been? Yeah, it's literally been since, uh, I would say February. Like I turned that stuff off because in November, I was starting to see something was happening. I was feeling on my end that I need to change in some way. I just didn't know how. And then 2020 happened, people dying, Corona, we about to shut the whole world down. What? Sorry, what's going on? And I was like, I don't want to watch Netflix. I don't watch TV. It makes me uncomfortable watching TV. Like, that's how deep it is. Um, it's just so much, so many lies. Not even like, you can watch good stuff because I watch HGTV if I did turn on TV. But I'm just not interested in like seeing any of that, really. Yeah. Like it doesn't interest me in watching TV. Um, I'm really trying to slow down on my music choices too. Like understand <laughs> what I'm listening to too, because Ooh. it's just all it's all toxic vibrations, and it's it's just not good to be listening to all that stuff all the time. Not to say any genre is bad. It's just listen to no music listen to no words at least um just listen to instrumentals because yeah it can be very toxic and keep you stuck yeah in self-talk because you feel like you're that person in that song which is like no that's not your situation and it's a song and he just talking whatever he's just talking but like don't don't feed into that like yeah into the television don't feed into the presidency and an election go vote but like, don't feed into it, you know. <laughs> don't get caught up. Don't get yeah, overly right. influenced. Well, yeah. could you so, see your products right quick? Yeah, let's, let's see, know, see your products, Lena. Just yeah, a couple of your products, and we're and the, and she can be found on Instagram, Chosen Bath and Body, and mm-hmm. also on Facebook, Chosen Bath and Body. And we just want to really, really thank God for such an amazing young lady. Um, she's 21, she's bright, she's in college, she... No, Telena, where's your one with the logo? Um, she, yeah. She's really uh, making a, a change and a difference in her life, and, and we just really yeah. appreciate it. She has great sense. Um, oh, yeah. I want to actually... And it's really a, a good moisturizer, moisturizing... It's, it's so like smooth and soft. Yes. And it's not as thin as um, lotion, but not as thick as Vaseline. So it gives you that per- perfect consistency, which rubs your skin um, with just some heat and it stays there. Okay. Yeah. So, I love it. And that, my favorite is Daisy Dew, of course, as you already know. So I mean, yes. It's my favorite. It makes my heart sing. Every time somebody walk in my office, they're like, your office smells so good. I'm like, yes, because I have one chosen. Get you some. Yeah. Learn about it. Yeah. Be chosen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we just want to thank KAZ Radio, KAZ Radio family for allowing us to use this platform to just share, network, 
big or small, we just love you all so much. And we are so grateful, so grateful to be here. I mean, it's just a blessing. And yeah. we appreciate you for being here, Talena. Yes, Talena. Good job, Talena. Thank you. Thank you. You did an Thank amazing you. job. Um, so very proud of, of you. And also our sponsor. Thank you so much, Soul Nails. Get you some and have a good one. Love y'all. Peace. Bye, guys. See you next week. Catch up. No, Catch two up. weeks from now. Two weeks. Two weeks, yes. Catch up. Two weeks.